Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Four Color Dance. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to another Flex Day here on the It Resolves channel. Today, we are jumping back into Explorer. We're having a blast with this one. Uh, I do want to specifically call out Breaded and Fried, who uh, I know, uh, Breaded, we're not playing your deck today, uh, but he did actually send a deck over, and I do plan to check it out. Uh, and I just want to call that out, as well as everybody else that's been sending deck lists. I really do appreciate it. It's a blast to play uh, some of the lists that you guys have, have worked to put together. Uh, and so we will continue that. I know last week we really focused on it. This week I've been kind of mixing it up a little bit. But today we're looking at four color dance of the mats. Uh, we're doing this for fun. 100% don't expect to win potentially at all. Uh, but we are going to try this and hopefully have some fun with it. So for anybody that doesn't know, uh, Dance of the Mants is a really interesting sorcery. It's X, a white, and a blue. Uh, return up to X target artifact and or non-aura enchantment cards, uh, each with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Already pretty good, but if X is six or more, those perm permanents, excuse me, are also 4-4 four, four creatures in addition to their other types. So the idea here is to fill up the graveyard with a lot of enchantments, things like uh, Fiery Emancipation, Mirror March, uh, Oath of Kaya, and then we've actually got Search for Iskanta here as well all to fill up the graveyard and then ideally get them all back as 4-4 creatures and then they all basically like will trigger each other if that makes sense so this is obviously uh going to um triple the damage that we do uh mirror march is going to copy all of the things theoretically uh that come in as creatures which means we will copy the oath of kaya each of which will deal um triple damage so nine damage uh and then of course just search for his kanta is some extra 4-4 creatures really but that's the goal of the deck. Uh, to, to help get us there, we do have a handful of like draw discard abilities. So we've got Faithful Mending, Prismari Command, which also gives us also gives us some treasure tokens and a little bit of artifact hate, uh, as well as just two damage if we need it. Uh, you find a villain's lair gives us a counter option, but also allows us to draw two then discard two. And then Big Score is really the 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 nice one here that gives us the two treasure tokens and we uh, draw two cards by discarding a card. Uh, Supreme Verdict just keeps us in the game essentially and uh, generally speaking the goal is to play the search for his Kanta as early as we can just to start getting that extra value. I do have a one of Blood Chief's Thirst in here as well just to like give us a little bit of an extra edge in case we need it but uh, that's the deck. It's really straightforward. It's a really silly one. There's not a lot to talk about. We're just going to hope we can get this off and hopefully do something really cool today. So let's do it, guys. We're going to have some fun and uh, maybe not win a single game. But you know what? That's okay. All right, everybody. And here we are for game number one. Uh, very interesting starting hand, but I think we will definitely keep it. We've got the Dance of the Mance. We've got an Oath of Kaya, and we've got a big score with a handful of lands. Relatively strong start, potentially. Uh, we'll see what we can do. There's the v uh, Voldaren Epicure. Uh, happy, happy, we drew a Supreme Verdict. That is very good. Um, so, let's see what the opponent's gonna do. They're gonna get another Epicure down. Okay. Uh, that's perfectly fine, actually. Um, let's go ahead and play this on the blue side, uh, which does allow us to Faithful Mending. I think we'll just wait. Uh, I don't think we have to pull the trigger quite yet. Uh, we can do it on their turn, potentially. Um, but... Um, all right, we'll go ahead and do it now. Now that they're tapped out, I feel like that's safe. Uh, we do want to discard a couple cards here. I'm going to just get rid of the Oath of Kaya and a land. Uh, we are kind of more on the Supreme Verdict plan at this point, so I'm not actually all that worried about losing the uh, Oath of Kaya here. That Hive of the Eye Tyrant is definitely um, a potential problem for us, so we are going to need to kind of work our way around that. Uh, but hopefully we can make something work here. Um, I will go ahead and pay two. Let's try for the Faithful Mending. Okay. Um, I think we discard a Pathway. And I guess a big score. I like having the, uh, you find the Villain's Lair. I think that's a really nice one to have. But, uh, the big score only is good if we already have an enchantment in hand. And kind of, kind of don't at the moment. So, um, not really ideal. Uh, we do want to save ourselves as much damage as possible, so I may end up pulling the trigger on the, uh... Ah, uh, do we, though? What have they discarded so far? Okay. 
Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna wait. A um, little bit ambitious, I know, but they're only dealing two per turn, and this allows us to potentially counter or just draw and discard two. Uh, and I actually kind of like that better. We do need to get further into our deck here, so I think this is actually pretty important. We'll see what they have. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and draw and discard. Um, again, the game plan is very simple here, guys, so... Uh, definitely can get rid of that. Um... It's probably just the Prismari command as well. Uh, Alright. Let's play the red source. Um, what do we have so far? Oath of Kaya and Fire Emancipation. I don't know that that's really enough. Um, let's see. So they will have exactly four. I don't love that. Uh, let's go ahead and Supreme Verdict. Um, I don't love this, obviously, um, because the, the Hive of the Eye Tyrant is truthfully very scary. Um, and they probably know what we're up to, given we've discarded a uh, Fiery Emancipation. Wow, they're actually going to go for this. Okay. I'm actually really happy with that. Um, so, let's do this. Uh, we'll deal two, draw two. Hopefully get an enchantment or two. Okay. Uh, we got one. Uh, it's probably just this. They may not realize we're on Dance of the Mance yet, but I have to imagine they know. Like, at this point, it seems a little obvious. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, by the way, is, like, a really obvious include. I'm a little upset we did not think to, to put that in the deck. Um, that seems so silly that we didn't now. But, hey, it's okay. Uh, interesting. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. Let's go ahead and do this. Just discard that uh, Ragrin Triome. It actually would have been nicer, I guess, to play that potentially, but that's fine. Please don't counter. <laughs> Uh, the, the treasure token is actually what takes us above what we need here. Wow, they do have a counter. That sucks. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Alright. There's the reflection. Uh, they're still a little short on lands with the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, which is good to know. Uh, ooh. Huh. Okay. Um... So we are gonna have to exile a permanent we control. We can't really get rid of the dance. Interesting. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. So that would get an Oath of Kaya and a search. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. All right. Uh, at the very least though, they are tapped out, which is helpful. It's really not as helpful. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and blow up the, the Blood Tithe Harvester here. I wish we could have also killed Nicol Bolas, but there's really not a way we could have done that. Um, yeah, I guess. Not really sure. We'd probably lose this game, I'm assuming. Um, but hey, we, we tried something fun. We did get to Dance of the Man, so we just didn't really get to do it for the, the full value here. Kind of got unlucky with our hits. I'm realizing we only really hit like three enchantments, four enchantments, I suppose, with fiery. Um, we'll transform it. I did not mean to leave this on top either. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Huh. Um, so if we do this, we do this. We go ahead and blow up Nicol Bolas. It's kind of the best bet for us, unfortunately. Um, and they may just have a counter spell. They do. <laughs> All right, I'm going to good game them. They definitely have us here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into game two. Check out this month's Patreon rewards, celebrating our return to Dominaria. If you want to pick these up, feel free to visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for our next game. Uh, weirdly, I'm going to keep this. Don't love it, but we are going to try it. 
Um, the Ra Rafine's tower is nice. Uh, we've got the you find the villain's lair, which does allow us to discard the two fiery emancipations, uh, which is a good start to the game plan at the very least. And we also already have the dance of the manse. One thing I've noticed is it's really hard to find one or the other thing, uh, whether that be just a lot of enchantments or uh, in some cases, just the dance of the manse. Um, not always easy. Uh, and so it is a little frustrating, but it's okay. We will figure it out. Uh, looks like Boros? Ah, lovely. Don't love to see that, um, but it's fine. Uh, we'll, we've got this, so that's fine. All right, uh, Faithful Mending is also quite good. So we actually can leave up the You Find the Villain's Lair as a counter spell here, I think. Um, if we can slow them down enough, I think we let that happen. Don't think we let that happen. Shadow Spear is good enough for me to want to get rid of it. Um, this giving lifelink and trample, and then in this case, double strike is just like not not even worth it um, to, to the other stuff here. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Gain a couple life, get rid of a couple cards. Ooh, Supreme Verdict is nice. I'm going to get rid of bo the Fire Emancipation and the Mirror March. I think it's better to have one of each. Um, they might be kind of on to us at this point, but that Supreme Verdict actually is really important because we might be able... Ooh, can they just kill us? No. Uh, well, maybe, actually. They might be able to. Um, yep. It gets attached. <laughs> it has Double Strike in haste. Wow, that's annoying! Oh, that's so annoying. All right, well, we lost again. <laughs> Let's jump into game three. All right, guys, here we are for game number three. Uh, how do we like this hand? I'm gonna keep it, why not? The tapped lands are not good. Triple Rafine's tower is uh, not ideal, um, but that's okay. Our, our opponent here was nice enough to say hello, so we'll do the same. Um, curious to see what they happen to be playing. Uh, let's go blue here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I don't think there's a huge reason not to really. Yeah. Okay. So we do have two things in the yard already, uh, which is certainly good. I'm assuming this is like the Abzan. Yeah, mid -ra Oh gosh. Of course. Because why wouldn't they have a graveyard <laughs> trespass? Why do we even play, honestly? Um. I'm curious to see what they actually take. Okay, it's the Oath of Kaya. Interesting. Um, well, <laughs> we literally can't do anything. <laughs> uh, guys, the deck is bad. Um, we're not pulling it off very well, I'll just be honest. Um, yep, they're gonna get rid of both cards in the graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world, we are terrible. Um, all right. I mean, we literally can't even play. I'm, I'm conceding. We're jumping into a new game. We just have nothing. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not frustrated at all. All right, here we are again. Let's hope uh, we can make something happen. Um, not sure we will, but we're gonna try. Just once. I just want to see it once. That's all. Um, Explorer is rough, man. They, uh, they seem to have, I mean, it's a well-rounded format, so it makes sense, but there's always an answer to something. Is this just the, here we go again. I don't want to do this again. All right, it's fine. Um, double Oath of Kaya might be helpful. Maybe. It might just win on the spot here. Um. <laughs> uh. Oh, it's a rune of speed. Okay, that's not what I expected. I'm okay with that, actually. Um, let's drop this for, does it matter? Um, I don't think it really does. We'll just do this. I'm just gonna Oath of Kaya right away. <clears throat> I don't think there's a reason not to. We are gonna take the life loss here, which kind of sucks, but like, uh, I think we just kind of have to. The other option was basically just to throw it out on blue and leave up the villain's lair. 
But I don't actually think that would have been the most ideal play. Oh, well, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yep. There's the Resolute Strike. 13-13. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, now what? Like, we can't... <laughs> Guys, we suck. Um, <laughs> alright. If we had gotten... Nah, uh, there's nothing we could get. Alright. One more time! We got this! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Here's... Here's to hoping. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's let's throw this out. Again, opponent being very polite. This uh, this may have just crushed my spirits entirely, guys, but it's fine. Um, everything's fine. Um, okay, let's throw this out for black. Yep. All right. Jaspara Sentinel's interesting. Uh, I feel like there are better options, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, we can do this. I'm just gonna throw out Nose of Gaia. Um, mostly just to get them a little bit behind, because obviously they just have a crap load of mana at this point. Alright, so it's a cannon deck. Sick. I mean, it's a really cool deck. Um, I'm curious if they... Okay. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I would love, very much, a, um... Right, let's do this. I would very much enjoy a uh, Supreme Verdict right now since we did get our second white source. We could certainly play it. I'm leaving this up uh, so we don't just immediately die. <laughs> uh, okay. Unfortunately, we don't have an answer for that, so we just kind of have to let it happen. All right, let's... um. Do this. Hopefully we get a Supreme Verdict. Nope. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> uh, let's do this again. Supreme Verdict. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's helpful. I mean, that's very helpful. Uh, we will drop this tapped and hope we don't die. If we can get the Supreme Verdict off, we might actually have a chance here. Um, Risen Reef is very good for obvious reasons, with Yarok especially. Um, the trick is they're going to refill their hand pretty quickly here with all this, uh, which is not good for us. But the Supreme Verdict will, at the very least, again, if we're given another turn, will kind of reset things, at least on some level. There's Omnath, sure. Omnath is obviously very, very good. Yep, okay. They already played their land for the turn though, which was kind of a mistake on their end. Um, all right, let's do it. Get everything out of there. Um, uh, what do we want? I guess just this. I don't really think it matters too much. We're still a couple, so we've got, what, two? And they're just fiery emancipations, so it's not really that great. Um, all right. Paradise Druid into Paradise Druid, sure. Uh, yep. Big score, huh? Um, I'm gonna do this. So we're gonna draw two and create a treasure. Just see what we get. Uh, because truthfully at this point, that's kind of, yes. Okay, that was actually really good. Um, now the question is, I think we just wait. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So we really just need like a land. Um, I guess we could, be nah, that's not good. So we would get rid of Dance of the Mance if we were to big score at the moment. So we definitely don't want to do that. Guys, look, I'm not saying we have a chance. Obviously the likelihood of us doing anything here is pretty low, but we're trying. <laughs> we're really trying. <laughs> Uh, yep. Okay. <laughs> no land, uh, which is obviously not ideal. Um, let's do this. I think we have to go this route. We, like, literally have to get something. <laughs> Okay, um, just get rid of big score here, sadly. 
uh, just to be safe. We didn't have to do that, I know, but we're we're gonna. <laughs> uh, what a terrible deck. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me just completely bomb. Um, but you know, the fun idea is there. Does this have... Oh, come on. Seriously, we, we were a turn away. Oh my God. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, guys. Well, uh, that was terrible. We played what, like five games? Lost every single one of them and didn't really even get the thing to do its, or, or the deck to do its thing. Uh, so we wasted like 30 minutes of your time. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Uh, sorry guys, this one, I don't know, the idea was there in practice, because I did practice with this and I did kind of tweak it a little bit. I was able to get it off, but it really wasn't like a consistent thing. So I expected it, as I kind of mentioned in the beginning, to be like kind of bad. Um, I didn't expect it to bomb that heavily, <laughs> um, but it is what it is. Can't really help it. So here we go. Uh, enjoy my losses. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I do encourage everybody to watch or, or keep an eye out for the Dominaria United giveaway. That'll be ending on September 16th. Uh, so if you do want to check that out, uh, subscribing to the channel is a free way that you can enter. So do encourage you to do that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Sorry for the losses. <laughs> Thanks for watching.